How can a massive company like Google brag about being carbon neutral? But little old me and you live in a simple life and the internet tells us that we're the big carbon emitters? What's up with that? The answer is that Google still generates emissions and a lot more than me or you, but they offset their emissions through, drum roll please, carbon offsets. We wag our finger at these big polluting organizations, but have you ever wondered if there's something specific you can do individually to mitigate your greenhouse gases? No, not those gases. I'm Skylar James, welcome back to the channel. Google gets to label themselves as carbon neutral for two reasons. One is by purchasing offsets, and the other is by utilizing renewable energy. In other words, running their operations on solar power and wind power. That's something we can do in our own lives, sure, but renewable energy only reduces our present emissions, here and now, and our future emissions. But how do we remove or compensate for our past emissions? That's where offsets come into the picture. I have a whole video in my channel detailing carbon offsets. Throw up a link to that video at the end of this one. I strongly recommend you check it out if you're interested in carbon neutral lifestyles and ESG and what it means to be a good steward of the planet. But in a nutshell, so that you're caught up, carbon offsets is where one party, me or you in this case, pays another party to remove carbon on our behalf. The textbook example of this is someone like us paying money to an offset intermediary and that intermediary preserves an old growth forest. The old growth forest captures carbon from the atmosphere, it breathes in that CO2 and keeps the carbon locked in its tissues forever or for a very, very long time. So in essence, our dollars keep that forest alive. Dollars that we earned as members of an emissions producing industrial complex. Get it? Check out the whole video after this one. But today I wanna to show how we, me and you, can actually achieve this, actually buy offsets. The first step is just asking how much carbon does the average person emit? Notice I didn't say American, just Person. And that's because there's been such a global response from you, the YouTube community, to my videos on clean energy, ESG, and carbon, and I want to say thank you for the support. I'm so grateful and humbled by it. I appreciate it. So depending on your home country and your lifestyle, you and your neighbors will have a different average carbon emission per person. Here in the US, we have one of the highest rates of emissions in the world at 16 to 20 tons per person. Number varies depending on the year the study being referenced and which specific state a person lives in. Carbonfootprint.com is a good starting point for determining your CO2 load. Americans can check out epa.gov and footprintcalculator.org is a third choice. It has a very user-friendly interface and can quickly give you a rough estimate of your emission responsibility. For all these calculators, the more specific the information you can supply, the more accurate a number you'll get back. Poke around these calculators. Do you feel compelled to act? Do you feel compelled to set aside some money to offset your emissions? If so, here are three offset marketplaces to consider. And I haven't received any sponsorship or commissions or anything along those lines for telling you about these websites. I just feel obligated to spread the word on these things as part of being a good citizen of the planet. The first website worth looking at is cooleffect.org. They have a lifestyle calculator similar to other calculators I showed you, but Cool Effect's messaging is centered around offsetting your travel and transportation specifically. Your driving, flying, hotel stays, and cruise voyages. That's what their web tool ushers you to offset. Cool Effect has decent transparency on which projects your money will fund. That's a common link for all three of these offset websites. And Cool Effect has the option for you to bypass their custom travel calculator and instead just enter a fixed number of tons to offset. So if you like the projects Cool Effect is working on, you could use one of those earlier calculators to estimate your emissions and have Cool Effects do the rest on your behalf. It's always important to do your own research, but Cool Effect looks like a good place to test the waters of offsetting. The second website is gozaround.com. That's G-O-Z around. They have a more expansive calculator than Cool Effect, though not as detailed as some of the calculators we looked at earlier. 
What's really interesting about Goes Around is that they presented me with three specific projects to offset my carbon. So I plugged in a few estimates of my families into their calc and Goes Around estimated that we emit about 79 tons a year. Yikes, air travel is emissions central. In fairness, I was rushing through it. Maybe it's not that high, right? Hopefully. Anyway, Goes Around offered me three options at different costs to offset 79 tons. Does that choice really matter in the long run? No, offsetting is offsetting, right? But seeing where my money goes gives me some kind of sentimental satisfaction. Who wouldn't want to help a charity get modern stoves to poor families in Africa or plant trees in Canada or wind farms in India? Side note on navigation here, Goes Around is a charity with many different objectives and arms. So if you're looking to get right to their carbon offset page, green.goesaround.com will get you right to it. The third offset marketplace is TerraPass, which I would summarize as a middle ground between Cool Effect and Goes Around. More options in the former, less detailed than the latter. A few things TerraPass has going for it, they offer subscription service. It's cool. They make gifting offsets as simple as a few clicks. They have multiple offsets that actually generate a certificate validating your selfless monetary contribution. And last but not least, they have what they're calling a TerraPass token built on the Ethereum blockchain. I'll look into this further and I'll update you if I think you should know more about it, but I'm definitely intrigued. Final thing to know about TerraPass is that just like Cool Effect and Goes Around, there's a lot of detail regarding the projects being funded with your offset proceeds. You just can't choose which specific project your dollars will go toward. Looking back, I was probably most intrigued by Goes Around because they offered me three specific projects to fund it, three different price tiers. It felt like more than just giving money to an offset intermediary. It felt like I actually chose to help out this charity in Africa. That gives off a good warm feeling inside, you know? If you enjoyed this carbon related video, check out my other carbon credit videos right here. Let me know your thoughts on this exciting new commodity and let me know if there are any steps you're taking in your own life to offset your role in climate change. I truly want to know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.